Hey everyone, welcome back. TKS sits here again. Um, today we are going to uh, do all of Sega Master System. So we're going to go from just like in the last one with Nintendo, beginning to end with Sega Master System, and we're just going to use the same method just like we did with Nintendo. It's going to be super easy, super quick, and it'll be pretty stable. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. And also we'll even get the uh, media pack updated as well. So we're just going to drop everything in this one video. All right, so uh, let's get started. As always, we got to find our ROMs. So just go to our trusty uh, website. And you want to go to uh, right up here. Anyways, you want to first you're going to need to get your your BIOS. So you're going to need your SMS BIOS, and how you find that is going to be right inside your ROM files. It says main BIOS and device sets, but the one we need won't be in here. But instead, we want to open up. There we go. The full MAME set. Oh, and also, MAME has just updated to a 260, but this BIOS and the uh, Sega Master System ROMs will still work perfectly fine with our 259, if that's what you're running, or even older. So go to your uh, 260 non merge, hit your set. Your torrent should pull up the uh, quickest way to find it you can just filter it out so I'm going to go sms.zip there we go uh, hit select none just hit that uh, make sure that your size is 78.6 if not then you may have more things clicked than just that okay then hit your ok to get the download done to get it started it's going to be super fast all right take it pause it right click open destination folder then you're going to take it and cut it and then we're going to yeah take it cut it and put it in your ROMs folder for your MAME, so go to your MAME, ROMs, and you're going to place it in a new folder you're going to create, SL, I've already created this, you already got my ROMs in here, but just right click and create the uh, SMS folder, and then you're going to drop it in here, which I already have, it's right here, alright, go ahead and X that out, now, once you're done, you're going to get your ROMs. And I want to pull up this list. As always, this list is going to be in the description below. So just download that. And this is going to be my list. So I have the name of the games here. These are going to be uh, the short names of how you find them. And I had two games here that I had issues with running. Um, feel free to get those if you want. They're Missile Defense 3D and Laser Ghost. I even noted my issues, so they may run better for you. Or you can probably figure something with those that I just couldn't. But Laser Ghost, I just could not get the trigger to shoot. And I think the issue is with Laser Ghost, it reverses the order of the phaser and the controller. That could be it. Because with um, SMS, it actually registers your phaser as controller port 1 instead of controller port 2 as NES does. But the rest of these games here, they all work perfectly fine. And uh, up here, I basically just put down what I just told you here. So it's also noted. But use this list. Then open up your website to get your ROMs. And you're going to find these ROMs up 
underneath your CHDs right here, you want to say MAME software list set. Uh, these are going to be at 260, which it doesn't matter. The ROMs really don't get changed very much. So these ROMs will be good. Uh, we want the split set. And click on that. Just pick wherever you want to download them to. It doesn't matter. Uncheck that. All we care about is SMS. So go to your SMS. That would be for Sega Master System, of course. Check that. And then just match your ROMs to what you need to get. So, Assault. Assault C. Yeah, so not C1, but it's assault. And drag this over. Drag these over a little bit. There we go. Now I can perfectly see all my short names. So just scroll down your list. I'm just going to do a couple here, but just get the rest of these. I believe there is eight altogether. Click OK. And it's not going to take but maybe a couple of minutes to download, if even that. All right, the same thing. Take it and pause it. Right click it. Open destination folder. All right. SMS. We already have that folder created. Take your ROMs, cut them, drop them into your folder. I won't want them in ROMs. Go to our SL folder. And if you haven't already created this one, which you should have before you drop the SMS zip, create this one. Open it, then you can just right click and paste. See, I already have these files, I'm just going to skip them. And your folder should look like this. I'm actually going to delete Go since that doesn't work for me. And Missile 3D. So, this will be your curated listing here. Okay, once you're done there. All right, so this here is going to be the edited portion, and this is a very uh, vital step, and I forgot to include this in the original tutorial, but be sure to make this change or none of your games will launch. All right, so you're going to open up your emulators to your MAME, go down to your INI file, which will be this one right here. All right, then you're going to come over to your ROM path folder here. All right, so all we're going to do is put a semicolon, uh, leave uh, no space, make sure this all stays together. Go ROMs, backslash SL, backslash SMS, and save it. Uh, if you don't do that, then MAME won't know where to locate those ROMs. Um, so if you... Uh, yeah, so this is it. And you'll be sure to make this change after you created the folders to put these in. Alright, anyways, just want to get this out there and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Go to your MAME. That's my...
All right, go to main. And through here, we're just going to verify everything's working. So for you, it'll probably be available. Click on unfiltered, type in SMS, and you'll want master system number two. Uh, check any of your games out. I'm just going to start with Assault. Just type in Ass and you'll bring up Assault City. Alright, everything's good. It should pop right up. Now, being your first time, it's going to look like this. You're going to have these lines. So to fix that, just go down to Stretched Aspect Ratio. There you go. And just like NES, this will be changed for all your other games as well. Now the screen, I've already changed it to fill in the border, but this is how you do it. And again, once you make the change, it's going to affect all the games for SMS. So I think originally for a phaser to work, you probably had to have these extra borders from the game. So I want to pause that. And you see that black border in other games that could be blue, it could be white. It'll be a different color per game, but we can stretch that out to fill the entire border. And these properties should work the same for you. So your horizontal, we'll start with your vertical stretch. No, oh, I'm sorry. Horizontal stretch. All right. And looks like about 150 is good for me. And then I think 98 was a good number. That's what I had before. All right. So 98. So just remember 1.050 for your horizontal stretch, 1.098 for your vertical. And of course, I run mine on the BGF with the CTRT Geome. The curve, I like that disabled. Okay, and one more thing to test is go to your input. And I would recommend doing this for every game upon first boot up, just to make sure that your Mega, your Master System Light Phaser is set. So I'll say light phaser for one. And looks like we're good here. Tab out. Oh yeah, so I have my my trigger on just so I can my crosshairs on. Just so I can tell that if I have a shot not registering, if it's going to be uh, my gun itself or if it's the uh, system itself. But I think everything is good. I'm firing, it's reading my gun, and it's pretty accurate. Now with Sega Master System, your aim is going to be tight. I mean like super, super tight. So you don't have much leeway if you miss. So just make sure your guns in the sending program are calibrated about as tight as you can get them. Wanna... Turn off my crosshairs now. And show you how it plays with crosshairs off. Alright, and I am not doing good. There we go, a little bit. I was just too close to the screen. Alright, I confirmed that works. Uh, try one more game out. And you'll have to open your master system again. And uh, we'll do Rambo. To verify everything's good, my controller phasers at one player. I can tell the screen's already connected good. And 
All right, pull trigger to start. All right, and I am hitting them pretty spot on now. Some games are just going to be hard to play, and some are going to be pretty perfect. Oh, and I do want to show you one more thing before we move on. Uh, remember how I was having issues with Operation Wolf for the NES? You can also play a version of Operation Wolf on the Master System, and it is so much easier to play. It's playable. There'll be a little bit of glitchiness in the bottom menu, but I don't think it's enough to ruin your game. I mean, it's very, very playable with the Master System. I just want to show you that real quick. Yeah, like I'm actually hitting stuff now. I couldn't even get shot skill off on Nintendo. But okay, so I want to show you we're good here as far as MAME goes. So now let's get all this moved over to LaunchBox. Escape out of that. All right, open up your launch box. All right, now we're going to import our main, or I'm sorry, we're going to uh, import one of our games for the Sega Master System. So just go ahead and delete that out. I'm just going to do Assault City. You may get this database update, just click yes. All right, it's still searching. I probably should have typed Acidian. I bet that would bring it up. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if Acidian brings it up. Nope, no guns are found there. I'm out in Gangster Town. All right, so we got that going on. Go to our media, download your media. Hit your download. And even though I will be dropping my media pack, I would still advise go ahead and download at least your basic media anyways. All right, now I got to show LaunchBox where our game is at. So of course it's going to be in our ROMs folder. SL, SMS. And Gangster is the one that we need for this one. In emulation, we uh, do not have our SMS MAME set up yet, so we're just going to click OK. Now, I don't know why that error popped up. Let me try. uncheck that. All right, so let's try that again. I don't know why that error popped up. All right, let's download your media. I 
launching just make sure you have your launch file in there and emulation just leave that blank for now hit ok alright you got gangster town there and now let's set up our emulator and the emulator we're basically going to do it the same way we did the NES with the one small exception so just add type in MAME okay once it populates everything and go back up and this however you want it I'm just going to put SMS hit OK oh yeah uh, to make sure you browse it so this is going to be inside all right I'm going to use the same main program that we've used for arcade so shape platforms we're going to change this to a master system and all we're going to type here is SMS. Now, with uh, my experience on my end, if yours does anything different, let me know and we'll figure something out. But I don't need to let Sega know I want the phaser to be controller one. And maybe that's because it has to be controller one. So it doesn't need that change. But just anytime I put the uh, change for controller one it doesn't launch but if I just put SMS leave it like that way because that just lets MAME know that we want to start up Sega Master System so we don't need to add zapper we don't need to add controller one change just SMS and that's it alright everything else looks good go ahead and hit OK close right click edit edit metadata go to emulation use an emulator hit the pull down tab and we want SMS hit OK alright now let me check it make sure we launch Double click, we're launching, we got our border up, hit your tab, check your input. And we are at phaser one, so even without adding the uh, phaser argument, it still let us play. I'm going to pull my trigger to start. Alright, so even though putting in the uh, letters for my name was very raw, well, this didn't work good. As far as these targets go though, I'm shooting accurately, so if you had trouble putting in your initials to start this game off, that's just how this game is. But as far as everything else goes, gameplay, we're good. Yeah, because I'm just shooting that tire. And you can shoot the uh, ghost of the gangsters as well. This is a um, this game will definitely work out your trigger finger for sure. <laughs> All right, get out of that. Let me show it to you that works. Go ahead and add on a couple more games and then I'll let you all add the rest of them if you want. So, edit, edit metadata. We'll get Rambo in here. Oh, yeah, always un always clear that part out. Rambo, search for. Oh. I was 
editing that out. All right, so add your game. I want Rambo. Now, Rambo doesn't really have its own box art. So we use a Rambo First Blood Part 2 as a placeholder for Rambo 3. If you don't, then it's just going to be a blank space. All right, so got that downloaded. Um, launching. We always want to let LaunchBox know where we're launching the game from. Go to ROMs. SL. SMS. Rainbow 3. Come down to emulators. We already it already auto populated that, so we're good. Hit OK. Change my image group. There we go. So if you know you can do that, that's what you do. So it's the image group. That's what that does. Click on Rambo. We're good. Okay. Now we're going to keep all this portable so just right click on your games go to edit edit metadata media go to launching and you're going to want to put your cursor at emulators right here and just erase all that if you don't and you're trying to put this on a different drive later on since it's not in a C drive or D drive or whatever, it's not going to launch because it'll be looking for that specific drive. But if you chop it down from emulators on, as long as there's an emulators folder, the launch box it will read it. So edit, edit metadata, launching. All right. Should look like that. Hit OK. Test them out. Make sure they still launch. That's still launched. And that's still launched. All right. So we're looking good so far. Um, next, let's go into our big box. Okay, have you ever hit a point in Big Box when it launches and it doesn't come up with your movie video? Um, but just keep hitting enter or another button and you'll get out of that black screen into your Big Box. Alright, so this is how our Big Box looks right now. Um, go to our master system. Alright. You know, I only got these two games on right now, and you'll have more. <laughs> oh, um, hit your... If you made the change from the uh, last video on your hotkeys, then you can just hit the V button, and you'll go to your vertical wheel. And I think it's going to default to this, which if you like this look, that's fine. Uh, me, of course, I prefer... This look myself, vertical 2, and vertical 3 is good too. The only difference is 3 adds to spinning cart. Uh, to me, that just kind of takes too long to do. So, this works for me perfectly. Uh, I'm going to escape out of that. Now, we don't really have a movie in the master system. So, we'll get that changed along with the rest of our art so escape out go to exit now this folder will, will also or this file will also be linked into the description below 
So it'll be in its zip drive. So you're just going to open it up. Open up your Sega Master System media update. And just want to drag these folders right into here. So you got that. Click on these folders. Take it, drag it, drop it. All right, let's wait for a moment to let it do all this. Um, if it says that, just hit replace the files in the destination. All right, after that's completed, um, double check your images. Make sure we have our master system there. And same with your uh, video. Videos. And we have Master System. Alright, now go ahead and start your big box up again. Alright, and now Master System has its own platform theme video. Now, I don't create any of these, I just know how to find them. <laughs> so, credit to the creator of this one, uh, Master System. Alright, we have all these. Now, for me, I do not have all these uh, games on here physically. So, but I will have them all on there myself. Uh, let's go ahead and test one out. We got a nice loading screen there. Let's see, rescue mission. Maybe I do have it on there. I didn't even know it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, and everyone, that is it. And that's how we do the Sega Master System easy. We're not going off the sand guide for this one. This is a much easier process. Um, some of the games may play better if you do it that way. But honestly, I will take that trade-off versus the headache the configuration would bring us. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you all. Thank you again for watching. Um, I'll catch you all next time, and I'll try to get Super Nintendo up on the next video. Uh, anyways, catch y'all later, and you have a great day. And thank you for dropping in.